The views and opinions expressed in the following program are those of the hosts and guests, and not necessarily those of the staff or management of Worldwide Digital Broadcasting Corporation. Titty Kitty! Welcome to SinCityBounty.com! <laughs> We're broadcasting live from Las Vegas from the wonderful studios of WWDBTV.com. Hey, WWDBTV has added a few shows to their lineup. Woo! Have they? And we're going to add more. And, and, we're and add one more, more coming. And we're add more. What type of and shows do we more. have coming? Um, a business show, I know, for sure. Mm -hmm. We have, oh, I'm a huge conspiracy theory buff, even though I know it's all bullshit. It's all bullshit, right? It's all bullshit. The aliens, uh, the pyramids, all that stuff. It's the all earth bullshit. The earth is round, motherfuckers. Yes, the earth is round. But there is a new show called Threshold Radio that covers stuff like that. Like, really? he, they did, just did a show on crop circles. Where have I heard Threshold Radio it, we used It used to be used on to a, a, former, the other show? a former station. Yeah, yeah. Johnny Blue Star. And then there's another uh, health and wellness show called Good Medicine. Good Medicine. Good Medicine with, with Holly. 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 You don't even know. So if you're into that kind of stuff too, that would be another show for you to tune into. So I'm very excited. And I'm trying to find somebody. Trying to find another host for WTF Las Vegas. Oh, good, good, good. Yeah. That's the, the Las the Vegas fuck? happening show. What's going on in Vegas? Where's Usually the from, fun, Las Vegas? Uh, and you fun? wanted to do someone to do live stuff down from we First go, Friday. We we go down to First Fridays and down on uh, Fremont Street and just randomly interview people on the street I, from all over the country. I might, I might know somebody who might be want, wanting to do that. Cool. And then we for have for free. Uh, I think, yeah, I think okay. so, for free. Um, Just for the credit. <laughs> yeah. So check out some of the shows. Bo Fortune is on here. Uh, he does a lot of uh, talking. You mean Lock Fortune? Uh, Lock Fortune, Vegas sorry. Vibes? Well, on Facebook, he's Bo. That's Lock, a snake. Yeah. Lock Fortune uh, <laughs> does uh, Lock, yeah, Lock Fortune's <laughs> Vegas Vibes here, and he does, he hasn't done it yet, but uh, he's a tarot reader. He's like a Las Vegas's premier only uh only only one licensed available to come to you uh fortune reader he's on the station of course there's a sports show uh southern nevada sports news that we we love those guys we love them you have a crush on jeff don't you oh he's a cutie yeah i have a i have a crush he's a on cutie. bill i just I, the only thing is in order um for me to maintain that crush i have to not read his political yes. post <laughs> so i'm like hey yeah. we'll scroll we'll scroll we'll scroll <laughs> yeah i have a crush on bill so that's a really good i show. blocked him so we could still be friends <laughs> <laughs> he said he said why don't you guys have me on your show i'm like have you seen our show <laughs> Even once? <laughs> Five minutes? <laughs> I assume he's very Republican. Very. Yeah. Ooh. That wouldn't go over well here. Very well, he and I can have uh, a discussion you, about guns. You guys would be okay. Yeah. You and your libertarian ass. Yep. You guys and would I be like, okay. I like hearing both sides, so I'd actually be okay as well. Yeah. So. As long as he wasn't belligerent or disrespectful. Right. No, he's a good Christian. Yeah, he's yeah, he seems That does not mean he won't be belligerent or disrespectful. <laughs> no, he, in following he seems pretty um pretty like he's pretty solid in his views, but I've never seen him like trash somebody for theirs. Right. We, love, pretty, we love we love our uh, WWDB TV family. We have a good family. Yeah, we do. I really like it here. I, I love the people Wait that we're with. I Wait till I show up at all of their houses for Christmas. It's going to be great. <laughs> like I'm hoping presents, hey, guys. Corey well, uh -huh. we try not to mention her because it's a teenage show and yeah. we're in a very, very adult show. But yeah. we love oh. Corey Taylor, and she has some of the best guests. So if you have a teen, tween, somebody younger, um, definitely. But if you're an old pervert, do not turn, tune into her show. She like, did. She did a not. great show today on uh, bullying, and one of the guests that uh, guests that she had on. Has, has written a book about her experiences, you know, mm -hmm. and she's a grown-up now, but um, it was a good show. Well, that's what she developed her show around. Yes. I mean, she was the she's, only... She won an award for it. Right. Yep. And she was the only, I think, um, teenage 
host to have her own show, but specifically about bullying or, yeah. or something along those lines. But yeah. yeah, good kid. Go watch it. It's not this show. Definitely <laughs> not this show. <laughs> Turn your kids on to it if you have yeah. kids. Ease them into it. All right, what are we talking about? Uh, the over the okay, so we did it a little bit on the Facebook feed, but I <laughs> I posted on my wall this week. Uh, one of our one of our friends in the community posted this new shirt thing. That I don't even know what it's called. What, what the boob what, holder? The, it's the boob holder. It's it's a titty. Okay, so you know those uh, hair dini things that you buy to wrap your hair up in so it's not all in your face while it's wet and floppy around this is a hair dini for your titties it's a titty dini and it's just a piece of long cloth and it goes over your shoulders and you put a boob into one and a boob into the other and it's they're like slings for well, your boobs. Here's I when I had read it, I think the intention is when you're getting ready, I know I'm usually naked when I'm getting ready. I like to do my hair, I like to do my makeup. Because I don't want to get my shit all over my clothes. Right, exactly. And I like to air out. Like I like my body to, you know, be nice and dry and fresh and um so I get it. And, you know, and I have I have smaller boobs, but I still do get boob sweat. Um Me too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it happens. So um, the purpose is, is as somebody's getting ready, instead of like, you know, maybe a towel or something like that, they can wear this, what is it, a titty it's called sling? It's a ta-ta towel. A ta-ta towel. Ta-ta towel, that was it. What titty did you dini. call it? Titty dini. Titty dini. Dini. Like who dini? Like a Hair who dini. Titty dini. <laughs> yes. So. That is the track my mind follows. <laughs> it is, it's kind of amazing. It's super cool. Uh, I might wait around the house. I don't. Well, I have a roommate who's also my ex, who is also my baby daddy. So I right. can't wear a titty dini around the house. Right, right. Because that's just wait. awkward. <laughs> is wait, it adjustable or is it one no, size anyway. fits all? No, there's like three sizes. Okay, I'll, and I'll from what I understand, you know, I won't fit in the largest size. But I mean, you know, longer lengthwise. But we could I tie mean, trash you know. bags together. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, make, and make one for you. First off, I very, very rarely wear anything that is a halter top that is supposed to support my tits because i call those decapitation machines those are little tiny mobile um guillotines guillotines thank you for the word uh because it's so much weight i think like each boob weighs like 10 pounds that's like carrying 20 pounds of weights around your neck with a tiny little string this is back up in case you forget to send it to me (laughs) Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> so I couldn't wear one. Number one, they don't make them big enough. It'd be more like a nipple dini for me. And number two, are your nipples that big that they would hold them? <laughs> my nipples are. You've seen my nipples. They're not yeah, even they round. Your nipples. They're not very big. No, but do they poke you out? Like, like oh, my no. my my nipples don't poke you out unless I'm excited. Mine right? don't poke you out unless I'm excited too, and they don't poke you out that often. Okay. So. Okay. So. Or unless there's cl- clamps on them. Then they're super pokey Definitely out. Pokey but out. we had a host who um, hers were so big that she could hang plastic hangers on it with clothing. Her and nipples? I, yes, yes. And I didn't believe she could do it. So she came one day. With, and we, we were doing, it was for we a, a photo, photo shoot. shoot. And so she took the hangers and put clothes on the hangers. And she's like, there you go. Wow. And Permanent, they're permanently like that. Yeah. 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 I, to me, I think that's awesome, actually. Um, I would love to have permanently... I, think it's hot too uh hard or and i'd wear thin shirts all the time <laughs> pokey outy <laughs> i went to i mean unless unless they're in different directions so i probably <laughs> so I look like, like, like if one was here and one was looking here if you had forrest whitaker di- nip. yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do that. Let's see you do that. Oh man, I no, can't do it. I, man. Oh, well, yeah, I, I'm doing it right now. Can't you tell? Like I went up here, went down here. Forest Whitaker Whitaker it. See, I have, I have my, um, my party tit <laughs> and my shy, my shy tit. But you know, they, uh, they kind of just other. hide in there. Yeah. Did you know that back in the? It's definitely the 70s because my mom owned one. They have bras that have little nubbies on them. To make it look like you have nipples. But, but don't we wear bras now to try and cover? Yes. Yes. It's so just it like, stick it, out. it's just like, um, there is an honest to God thing you can buy for yourself 
to put in your panties to make it look like you have camel toe. Camel toe. <laughs> because people are totally into that. And that's cool. Uh, but but I'm I've not spent gonna go. my life trying to prevent that yes. look. However, and then there's other people who are like, let's buy this and enhance it. It's what? just like a Merkin. Like, why would you... Why would you go through all the trouble of shaving all your pubic hair off just to put a fucking pube pay on your goddamn pubes? <laughs> fucking Merkins. People will put anything on their body to enhance the things that normal people don't want to enhance. I think it all depends. Like, um, so I knew I, I was dating a guy once and his favorite thing was the silhouette of a girl's legs and torso underneath a skirt. Um when she was backlit. That was his favorite thing. So I often wore a skirt and allowed myself to be backlit, often. <laughs> so he would be turned on. If you had a dude that was really into camel toe, would you not go out and buy one of those camel toe things? I, I can, can tell you, myself. <laughs> I can tell you for full fact, I would not. No? <laughs> I would not. Because it just so happens that I have dated a guy who was totally into camel toe and was like, hey, let's flaunt that in public. And I'm like, mm, no. Uh, not that I'm against it. Not that I think it's weird. Not that I think it's gross or anything like that. It's just not for me. I've already got enough other lady bits that have to, to absolutely that they're just everywhere. I don't need to enhance all of them. <laughs> Besides, you gotta leave something to the imagination. Mango is luscious as fuck. You gotta come in and see it. I ain't showing it off to the world. <laughs> well, I don't know if I would do that out in public, but I would definitely wear it around the house for him. I don't even know if... Well, I can't say that. We know <laughs> guys purposely... are turned on by fake boobs, so they probably get fake, turned on by fake vag lips, too, so... <laughs> Wait, whoa! Where did fake vag lips come from? Are there fake vag lips? Yes, it is a thing you put in your panties to make it but look that, like no, you have that's, camel toe. The camel toe. toe isn't for the lips. The camel toe is for up front. No, your camel toe is vagina lips. Big, poofy not, vagina not, lips. No, With a space it's, in the, the it's the area outside. No, that's that the fupa. No, there has to be it's, a little. There has to be a little slit in the middle. It's yes, yes, but it's the beginning. Your lips are inside. It's not enhancing what you have inside. I need to see your vagina. It's enhancing your hair. <laughs> because I got some big old flappy pussy lips. <laughs> and it's real easy to get some camel toe going on. <laughs> Listen, can, I'm going to draw a photo. Do you now. have like no pussy lips? Like, no. are you flat? I'm like, okay. <laughs> so <laughs> she is literally drawing a picture. Of her pussy so, lips. Okay. So there's legs. Yes. Right? And there's your front area, but you don't access your pussy lips from the front. When I stand here, you don't see your lips inside. Right. And your the lips camel toe is... enhances right here. It pushes this up. The reason to make it bump up. Clothing is what makes camel toe happen. Right. It pushes okay. this front area up, but your lips aren't right here. Yes, they are. They're not up front. Mine are. Mine are. They're inside. Mine are up front. What do you mean like inside? Like outside. Like if you stood here naked right here and I looked at you, You'd see I my... would see your lips. Yes. Yes. The, Hopefully two. <laughs> what are you guys talking about? <laughs> oh my God. You've been there. You've seen it. <laughs> I've been naked in front of you before. You can totally see my lips from any angle. Except... Well, no, you can see it from the back. Look, too. this is so important to her. She is standing. We're gonna take a <laughs> we're gonna I'm take a short break, and I'm we'll be right back. Up, I'm about to pull up photos or my skirt, one of the two. <laughs> I vote for skirt. It'll get a kicked off every stream we've got going, but fucking, let's do it. The, the <laughs> Dude, I wish we weren't like managing this. <laughs> You know what? I don't need to look at the comments. I'm like, pulling up I a picture of some motherfucking please, camel toe. Please, please, pull up a picture. I'm getting her some camel pull toe. Pull up a picture. I don't understand how you don't understand what camel toe is. So I understand what camel toe is. It's Who's wearing pants? Stand up. I'm not wearing pants or I'd show you. So you don't even have the fupa here. Or is this the fupa itself? <laughs> well, this is the, your front. Stand up. We need okay. a model. She is not going to show. Do you see this yes. That's her vagina lips. Okay. But not right there. That's the front. 
That's, that's right here. Her, yeah, that's her vagina lips. That's the front the of her clothing, vagina. The clothing up inside her lips make, is what oh, gives look, you camel toe. Here's the panties that give you the camel there toe. There we go. There's camel toe panties. Camel toe panties. We can't show you again. I don't know. I, I can't believe we have to explain this to you. <laughs> look. Her vagina that lips. Is. That's Hold camel on. toe. That's her vagina. She's not fat, therefore no fupa to cover her <laughs> camel toe. <laughs> That is true. Us fat women sometimes have a large Look, enough food, but a here is another super toe. skinny chick, and I think she's famous, showing off camel toe. That's I her vagina. I get what camel toe is. I get what camel right toe. Here. The question is, is if you call this front area right here, right here, your lips. It's part of your lips. Yeah. Well, you, the back area, the back part of your lips is part of your lips. My lips go from front to back. The inside of your lips is part of the lips. The All inside. The inside is where your lips are. Um, are not on the inside. Those are other flaps. Those are secondary you parts have, of the vulva. You have an outer labia? Right, the vulva. No, no, no. Uh, you have an the, outer labia there we go. and an inner labia. That's the right term right the there. The outer labia look, is what causes. Look, yes. when you Google vagina lips, it's inside. <laughs> These are the lips. These are the lips in here. The, those are part of the lips. Look. look when I look Google up. vagina lips, look what you see. You <laughs> see <laughs> this right here. Inside. Whatever you do, right don't Google there. dolphin porn. <laughs> <laughs> Big look, naked. Lips, no lips. It's camel not the toe. front. See this right here? Right here. This is where the camel toe comes in. That's where the front of your pants digs in to make a camel toe. But look, some ladies here. see these. Okay, but look where she's highlighting right here. This area right here. <laughs> I wrote on your phone. <laughs> Go ahead and just charge it to me. <laughs> Pick a credit card out of my purse, anyone. Look, this doesn't um, help. She's like, she's got the those tiniest. Those are her lips inside. Those are the tiniest lips These are ever. Her Look where lips. her hands are. Yes. That's where camel toe is. Right that is here. not lips. It, inside they, is her lips. Right there is not. <laughs> that's where camel toe goes. That's not her lips. It's the technic. She's, she's looking at technical terms here. The inner labia and outer labia, those are both considered lips. Please. <laughs> Send us your comments. Yes. SinCityBounty at gmail.com. Send us photos of your vagina lips. Ooh, yeah, that's even better. Look, every single one is the inside lips. As Jim Moriarty would say, tick tock, tick tock. <laughs> hey, well, look, this, this girl's got some great. Well, this girl's got lips on the outside. Well, she does. She does. Okay, look, so her inside lips are so, bigger than her outside lips. So her camel toe probably is com a combination of her outside lips because those hang low. Damn. Do your lips hang low? Do but they look, wobble too? Look how far down that is. Do you see what I'm saying? But look is at how much area? she's covering with that Hitachi. Look. Look how far up those outer lips go. See? And that, they're not even big lips either. They're just kind of like little clam lips. Camel right. toe is defined as an effect, an effect created by a pair of pants or shorts that fit very tightly around, around a woman's groin area, drawing attention to the shape of the external genitalia. Ex it doesn't say lips. Are, are, have we been arguing this entire time over semantics? Half an hour over an hour. which vagina this, lips this are the right front vagina area lips. Of your vagina is not your lips. The vagina is a the little tiny hole from which you are able to get pregnant. That's it. The entire thing is called a vulva, and lips have been attributed to either those big fleshy outer ones or those little flappy inside ones. No wonder you like tacos. <laughs> Some have which resemble tacos. I was searching for a Tuesday taco meme for us to post. And I came, as much as I love Taco Tuesday, it's delicious. because of the tacos, I'm, I'm actually quite offended when women are to refer to as tacos. <laughs> I, uh, and there's a you know, photographer. If you want to come dine at my taco bar, you come on down. Well... It's uh, to me, it's derogatory when it's like I won't go to ever go to the pink taco because I know what's in oh, reference so to. Good there, though. But so is the slanted clam, and the food's good there. Too. I won't eat there either. What about the tilted kilt? No, nope. I won't even go to any of the mountain ones. The Twin Peaks. Yep, or the other one, the Hooters. Uh, Twin Peaks is right by BJ's, the one in Henderson. <laughs> They're in the same parking lot. They are. There's Twin Peaks and then BJ's. I, I'm just offended by food places and then that will taco do taco. that kind of. I love taco. 
Because it's food. Food needs to stay far away from my vagina area. That's all I'm saying. There's no food sex play for me or anything like that. So my vagina personally, is food. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can personally, load mine up with tacos. I'm a little offended. You can- I found a, so I'm looking through the Taco Tuesday hashtags and stuff. And there's a photographer who posts pictures of pretty women in bat- bathing suits every Tuesday. Tuesday, and it calls them Tacos Tuesdays. I was so offended. I don't know why. You're my friend, so I shouldn't be, but I was. Snowflake. <laughs> What'd you say? A snowflake. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, coming. she she'd be like pepper Lexi flake. Is a snowflake. <laughs> She's a spicy snowflake. She's a pepper flake. Neshoba says tacos. Oh my fucking god! I don't know if I will ever eat another taco. You, I, you know what? How I, how I eat my tacos like this. Uh. I do, and everything. That's the one thing. Like I like my food nice and neat, but tacos like that shit could fall on my lap. That could fall on your lap. That Dude, could fall I'm on eating chitty chair. cheese and yeah, and I'll be drink. like, blah, blah, blah. just put it all. In. Got my lettuce in her lap, <laughs> right? I'm like, I'll eat that I think taco some meat anyway. fell in my bra. I don't care. <laughs> it's all going in. I stubbed my toe on the table. Oh my god. That's <laughs> the no shoe. Yeah, it's you the have no none too. Ooh. All right, what else we got? Well, um, while we're talking about, we're uh, gonna get blown up by North Korea, right? <laughs> because our president's an asshole, an idiot. He's a twunt. No, he's a scunt. So a twunt is a twat and a cunt. These are the same thing. A scunt is a skanky cunt. Scunt. There have been only like two people in my life I've labeled a scunt. Three now, if you count the president. <laughs> so he gets to be a scunt? Yeah, he can are, go right up there worried? with a cock block and scunt Donald, muck. And... Donald twunt? Donald twunt. Are we like are we Scott. actually worried about North Korea? I mean, should we be worried about no, North Korea? No, we should not be worried about North Korea because as soon as North Korea actually gets out of hand, China's going to roll over, smack the bejesus out of them, and South Korea will have a new parking lot. Uh, China won't take no North shit. North Korea, you mean? North no, Korea. South Korea will oh, have South Korea a new will parking have, lot. Right, right. <clears throat> no, the mainland China, they'll just park right there, go into South Korea. It'll be great. We'll have a whole new Olympic field to... It'll be <laughs> South Korea's Northern Olympic field. Like, that's what they can call it now. <laughs> because, I like... So, listen. I know a lot of Chinamen. And they have no worries about North Korea. Do you know why? Because even if the North Korean government doesn't roll over and smack the bejesus out of North Korea, the Chinese businessmen will roll over and smack the bejesus out of North Korea. You know why? Because the good old U.S. of A. is China's number one customer. And they ain't letting nothing happen into their inflow. And if you don't believe that, go out on the strip. Hell fucking yeah. Go out on the strip and I want you to go into every casino and I want you to take a look at every motherfucking casino game in there. And I want you to see... Every single one of those motherfuckers was built in China. I know this for a fact. We, as Americans, keep China alive. And they will have no one fucking with us. And that is why capitalism is awesome. I've heard that they banned Cheetos there. <laughs> Not surprised. Is that true or false? That's a Did joke. Did you make that up? That's a joke. It's a joke. Just one Cheeto in particular. One big... That hairy Cheeto that has spent more days on vacation than in office. Uh, he's on a working vacation. What are you talking about? <laughs> you can tell from it's all true. the tweets, right? Yeah. <laughs> it was announced. Yeah, it was he announced. Came out and said. He's on a working vacation. Yeah. I'm on a working vacation. <laughs> so I was listening to one of my stories this week, and it's and it was about the New York Times article. I think it was the New York Times article about how Pence is gathering all the things that he needs to run in 2020. But he keeps saying he's running as vice president. Hold on. He had to make, uh, Vice President Pence had to make a public announcement because the communication levels of our current White House means if you want to make sure Donald Trump understands you, you've got to make a public announcement. He made a public announcement saying no. He was full, fully in Donald Trump's corner. Uh, supporting him 100%, and he was not going to be running in 2020. But he couldn't, like, walk down the hall to open his door and go, dude, just want to let you know this New York Times article is bullshit. I'm fully behind you. No, he had to make a public announcement to make it so. I couldn't believe that. But if you think about it, 
every single one of them have to make a public announcement to make sure Donald Trump understands what they're trying to say. Because otherwise he fires them. <laughs> I, I, can't, I can't understand how people communicate that way. I don't. They don't. don't. There is no communication. That's right. They don't they communicate don't. that way. From and, what I and, understand, and that's everybody... why you've got all the leaks. I mean, when you think about it, a lot of the people that are working in the White House have been there for quite a while. And so they see what's going on. And the only way to get the word out of, of hey, you guys better pay attention. This motherfucker's crazy is by leaking. Well... There are times, my friends... Whistleblowing, whatever you want to call it. There are times, my friends, when the line between whistleblowing and being a patriot is a very, very, very thin line. But I'll tell you right now, any whistleblower who blows the whistle in the Trump administration is a fucking patriot. You find something, you see something, and it's illegal, and it's wrong, and it violates my rights as a United States citizen, I want you to tell the fucking world. And when the U.S. government... Or at least, you know, the part of the U.S. government that thinks it's in charge tries to come after you. The rest of us will help you. I promise. I mean, I'm just saying, if my rights are violated as a United States citizen, I want to know. And if that means you have to stand up in front of the world and say something, you know, like Mike Pence is actually a reptilian from the reptilian race, <laughs> I believe. Uh, uh, you can hear, you can learn all about that on Threshold Radio. <laughs> Shout and, out to my homes and People of Earth. Yes, um, new TV show. Is it like People of Walmart? No, no. <laughs> but that may be where the concept came from. Um, but yeah, like I, I just, I just don't get the bullshit that happens. I, yeah, the fact that they have to make, like, they have to have a public announcement every single day about something that happened, so that President Trump doesn't get confused. It's like. You know what? I long for the days of the Bush administrations. Both of them. I'd take both of them back in a fucking heartbeat. Because while that stupid idiot may have been choking yeah. on a fucking nacho chip, and maybe he couldn't speak the language quite so good, but he wasn't a total moron. Like, he wasn't so narcissistic that he didn't believe the truth. You know. At least he believed the truth. Even if sometimes he didn't understand it, he believed it. <laughs> yeah, I... You know, I had um, watched the Bush Jr. W. <laughs> Jr. Bush. W. Um, when he was going around and he was, um, he, he created a book. It's actually quite beautiful. He's a painter. He's a great and um, he painted this book and it, it has different individuals. And I, I think it, um, it ties into them having, if, if I recall, like coming back from war and stuff like that. And they're, they're veterans and the money goes towards veterans. And. He, so he painted all these different portraits. And so he's going on these talk shows promoting it. And I'm going, this is refreshing. <laughs> like, this is refreshing. And he's talking and they're asking him questions. And I'm like, this is great. Like, he's fabulous. I mean, I remember back when he was in office and maybe We're it didn't winning. seem as much then. But I feel like we have a different, yeah, you but, know, a but, different but scale to judge by. he was not the by. president. Who Dick was Cheney was. Well. Right up until what? Dick Cheney shot somebody in the face, didn't he? <laughs> While hunting, mm. it happens. Hunting. Well, I accidentally <laughs> shot a human being in the face because I thought he was a duck. Were you fucking hunting with Donald Trump? Mm, mm. <laughs> quack, quack. You know, I don't know if you guys heard this. The the Secret Service now have a new go. code. When if they're <laughs> If, have you heard this? Donald! Duck! <laughs> if they hear gunfire, they just yell, Donald! Duck! What? Is that true or no, a joke? No, that's a joke. <laughs> it's so nice that you're so pretty. She's a wonderful ass. That, that, was, that was an alternate fact. Alternate, alternate fact. fact. That's perfect. I'm very distracted right now. I lost the little nub from my pen, and I feel like I can't go on. It's probably under in your bra to make give you a nipple. That's probably true. <laughs> no, I'm good on both accounts, too. Now, see, you can't see this kind of shit on broadcast TV. You no. can't. No. No. Thank you, Internet. <laughs> I'm writing an article about Thanksgiving right now. Because, uh, believe it or not, that's the kind of shit I do. Um, and so the direction this thing is going in is giving thanks that we don't have to be like our ancestors were where they almost died of starvation. Um, 
that the advancements in technology and in food engineering, because we've been engineering food since the dawn of time, motherfuckers. Um, that Beer the, was engineered. It was founded and then engineered. Every vegetable you and eat right now was genetically modified hundreds of years ago. <laughs> Maybe Babylonians. <laughs> Possibly Sumerians, but certainly the Egyptians. Um, so part of this, the way this article is going is giving thanks for the advancements in technology that we have that make it so that really no one should go hungry at this point. Like, there should be no one dying of starvation right now. Um, the people who are dying of starvation live in countries that are restricting their access to food. Uh, their access to food. Or the gangs that are... <clears throat> right, or the gangs or whatever corrupt bullshit is in power. And so, like, it really, like... I've really been thinking, like, deeply about this. I really am thankful for our advancements in technology. Like, some people are like, oh, could you give up the internet? I'm like, yeah, I could give up the internet. Like, I don't need the internet to know stuff. But, but it, it sure, sure is, is nice. Fun. <laughs> be like, remember that guy in that movie about that thing with the football? I'd be like, okay, Google, what's that movie with that guy and that thing with the football? And motherfucking Google will tell mm -hmm. you. This is Waterboy <laughs> with Adam Water Sandler. <laughs> See? Motherfuck. I can find, I can have any information and alternate factual information at the touch of my hand. That is wonderful. Could I give it up? Sure. Do I want to? No. no. Do I need to? No. But I love would you stay in this house for three months without any? That's what I love. I love those ones. I would. <laughs> I'd yeah, stay in that house six months for a million dollars. Well, buy me a new phone afterwards. That's right. I'd be like, you ought to see my computer set up after this. Should be like eight screens, four foot tall. And who's paying for it? Like, who is conducting this yeah. experiment? <laughs> I just spit. I'm so sorry. It okay. is a bad night for me. It'd be great if it was Bill Gates. Yeah, she's supposed to swallow, but she's spitting all over the place. I know. It happens sometimes. By the way, Just... Toxie takes it in the butt. <laughs> I haven't pulled that one out in a while. I know, that's been a while. <laughs> she used to love to do it right as we're hitting uh, play on Facebook, and then she'd be like, you know, we're all quiet. Do, 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 we're getting ready. And she's like, and Toxie takes it in the ass <laughs> as soon as it goes live. <laughs> Welcome to Sin City Bound. So, that's good times. So, uh, <clears throat> views and opinions expressed. <laughs> Jasper says, I heard they are building a Chinese-owned casino on the Strip, which is close to a billion dollars in Vegas. Yes. They are. Where? Mm -hmm. uh, where the old, you know that uh, big tri-casino complex they were trying to build and they ran out of money, so they tore it all down? Mm -hmm. That's where they're building it. Oh, my gosh. You know, I've been thinking there's a shortage of casinos here in Vegas. So, right. yeah, because the, the Golden Dragon, I think that's what it's called, the Golden Dragon, yeah. the Red Dragon, the Golden Dragon, it's doing insanely well. Really? Um, yes. Have you been in there? Uh, I don't need to go in there. I work for the Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> I get all the financial reports. No, no, no. Like, I'm just asking no. if you've been in there. I to haven't. See it. No, I haven't you been know. in to see it yet. But um, according to all of the Chinese that I know, it's perfect and all? Chinese. All yeah. of the Chinese. All of the Chinese. Like the whole Both country. Of them. <laughs> That's how they talk all about two. themselves. Just so you know, my boss constantly will tell you, "Don't do business with Chinamen. They are bad businessmen." They 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 think of themselves collectively. They are a socialist country. Yes. <laughs> <clears throat> they are very socialist and super capitalist when they come to the United States of America. Just so you know, I happen to know a multi billionaire who comes here once a year for a month, rents a ten thousand dollar house, ten thousand dollars a month new pays for this house, buys all new furniture and toys for his children, and then when he leaves from this month long vacation he donates it all to Goodwill and does it all over again next year tax write-off he's brilliant uh he's not from america there's no tax write-off for him if you have well, kids in school encourage them to speak chinese because one day joss whedon's future of firefly will be true <laughs> it, it ain't that far away i'm telling you i work on the front lines it is not that far away i'm already learning my mandarin i can eat mushu pork <laughs> I got my chopstick skills down. So, so I love the Chinese. I think they're too. awesome people. They're amazing. Is it is it Mandarin or Cantonese? Mandarin. Why do you think Mandarin? Mandarin is the language spoken in all the technology cities in China. Oh, okay. All the Chinese people in the technology business speak Mandarin. Uh, so, Cantonese is considered so a Mandarin country. Mandarin is the nerd language in China. 
Mandarin is the language of business in China. Cantonese that's, that's is urban. considered yeah. Cantonese is considered a very country language. It's like the difference like between a yeah. It's it, it's the difference between hello and thank you for calling movie phone and hey y'all come on down let's party like <laughs> that's the difference between Mandarin and Cantonese. <laughs> Uh, Send your cards and letters too. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway. Oh, uh, Shenzhen Technology were you, Company. Were you saying actual words? No, he was not. <laughs> Come on, man. That means good evening. You're mocking. Say it again. Kombowa. 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 I know konnichiwa. That's Chinese. That's, That's Japanese. Japanese. Is it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I watched a lot of Nihau Kailan. <laughs> Ni Hao Kailan is Chinese, but so Ni Hao is hello, um, and Xie Xie is thank you. Uh, so there is a lot of Chinese you can learn, but you can't learn to speak Chinese from Ni Hao Kailan. That is Chinese. But Konichiwa is not Chinese, that's Japanese. But she says Konichiwa. Well, then they are misappropriating the wrong culture on that Who show. Who says Konichiwa? Ni Hao Kailan. What show is that? It's a it's kids a kid show. show. Oh. It's a little kids cartoon. It's like Dora the Explorer, but with Chinese people. Oh. How cute. It's super right. cute. Ni hao, Kailan. I watched a kids show this week uh, called The Worst Witch. It was the <gasps> cutest little show ever. It's my favorite. This, this is a show uh, based on a series of books that was written back in the 70s, I think mm -hmm. it was. Before the Potters. Before Harry Potter, but everybody talks about how it's a Harry Potter ripoff. It's not. It's the cutest little show. There's a 2017 version on uh, Netflix. Netflix right now. Um, I believe in the original version, uh, Tim Curry was in it. Because oh. I kept seeing, I was looking for... i got to find the original. For videos and G GIFs, GIFs, looking mm -hmm. for GIFs. And uh, I gift. saw a bunch of Tim Curry rainbow ones. By the way, I think today's the anniversary of the Rocky Horror Picture Show. Really? Seriously? Yes. That's cool. Let's find Let's that out for sure. Again. Let's find it out. See if I'm right. Are you a huge Rocky Horror fan? I wouldn't say huge. I mean, I've gone. Oh, we went. We went. It was fun. We molested each other with rubber gloves. Yeah. And then I, I was like trying to collect rubber gloves to take. <laughs> I mean, we, each, we each went. I mean, we had Cali guy and I. I had a date, <laughs> and they were just like off in their own world because we were like, we got gloves, <laughs> we got rubber gloves. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So her date and my date, Cali guy, they were. Uh, they had to entertain themselves. <laughs> we're like we're good all night. We have gloves. I would have fun at a Rocky Horror if I went with friends, but otherwise, I'm not like. I like the show. I've watched it a couple times, and I'll catch it if it's on reruns or something. But it's not something I go out of my well, way. Well, it, it's gotten old by now. Yeah, but Tim like, it, Tim Curry in uh, his outfit is the bomb. He, he just yeah, he is an mm -hmm. incredible, incredible actor. I've seen him in so many different things, and it was Clue. It was, it was Monday. Uh, one of the memes that I've it's seen really is true. you can tell a lot about a person by where they know Tim Curry from. <laughs> right. Yeah. Um, I was the first time I knew Tim Curry was from Legend. Really? Yep. Um, well, I, I saw him in Legend when I was a kid, and I knew he was in Rocky Horror. But the first time I really he really resonated with me, he was he was the voice of an audiobook that I was listening to. Oh, and he was good. See, I watched Legend and fell in love with the demon. Like, who does that? Myth. Yeah. So the anniversary of Rocky Horror is actually on Monday, August fourteenth. All right. Well, we have a few days. So, um, I I, ha I was hanging out with some people Sunday night, and we were talking about different shows and things like that. And I, for the last couple of weeks, I've been watching true crime, those documentaries on Netflix and things like that. They're good. And um, I needed a, like a palate cleanser from all the good wife or whatever the hell I was watching. Mm -hmm. And of course, my friends they said, "Wait a minute, you watch occult crime." for a palate cleanser, maybe we should stay away from you, which I thought was hilarious because I didn't even think of that. But here's one thing. You were talking about falling in love with demons. This is one thing that I've learned from all these true crime, occult crime, crime crap TV shows. If you have, uh, if you know someone, if you have a friend, or if your friend has a kid and they're really into vampires, find Twilight. help. Find help for them. If they dress like vampires, if they talk about sucking the blood of other people, find help for them because... You're, you're describing my entire life in the 90s. You know that, right? 
it's it's a little scary. Uh, mm-hmm. I was watching. There's this one series called Occult Crimes, and like three of the stories of the like eight stories was like vampire lovers, people who loved vampire crap. Not all vampire lovers are occult serial killers. But it's a warning sign. <laughs> but are all serial killers? Are all serial killers vampire lovers? They, That's the it, question. This, uh, the occult crimes things wasn't even about serial killers. It was just about people who love vampire crap that committed crimes. Stay away from them. Get them out of your life. Yeah. I have a show for you. Maybe. Oh, there's a new one coming out called Mind Hunter that I'm looking forward to. Uh, Mind Hunter? Which is uh, FBI. I think it's uh, follows the FBI tracking serial killers. So for a nice palate cleanse, Ozark on Netflix. Yeah, that's I've what heard. Jason Bateman was. <laughs> I've heard that it's Excellent show. Like, like a it. cheap ripoff of Breaking Bad. That's what I've heard too. Right. But I, I wouldn't consider it a. Uh, it's totally different. It, the pace is different because it doesn't have to rush to do a, like a weekly mm. you know, episode. And Laura um, Linney is awesome. Yeah, she's good. I just, yeah. I really enjoyed it. I mean, I love Jason Bateman. You know, he's. Who he's doesn't? Right up there. He's like on the top of my list with Jimmy Fallon and uh, James Corden. Like, there's there's my <laughs> trifecta. Mine is Mike Birbiglia. Oh, oh, if we're just going with, like, normal celebrity people, not like, you know, Vin Diesel and... Uh, no, you, any, any. <clears throat> they all count. Well, then it's Vin Diesel, Mike Birbiglia, and, uh, yeah, probably Jason Bateman. It used to be Brad Pitt, but um, even though he's getting fine with old age... He's also getting a little crotchety. So. <laughs> and I've heard he don't shower. And that puts you right <laughs> off my list. I, I think he doesn't shower because he's Brad Pitt. Like, does Brad Pitt have to shower? Yeah. You are not no, dining at the Y if you blow, smell he's like still the still getting blowjobs, even if he doesn't shower for a month. Somebody's oh. still going to be like, you're Brad Pitt? Give me some from under because oh, not so me. Funny. Like, I wouldn't. But no, I wouldn't either. I'm just saying, I might give him a hand job, but there. I'm bad at hand jobs. <laughs> I'm like turning butter. No skill. Are you done yet? Are yeah. Are you done yet? Catherine says, uh, Catherine says, shouldn't we stay away from zealot Christian faith healers as well? Yes. yes. Uh, maybe, but uh, in the one occult crime show that I watched, they drilled holes in women's boobies and then screwed them. So gross. Ew. I'd rather take on a zealot Christian faith healer than a well, vampire. Well, I don't know. Damn, what Have are you, you seen? watching? I'm telling you, you it's seen crazy. The occult mysteries, that video that we have to show the people all the time <laughs> with those crazy faith healers yep. who were trying to exercise demons from the bodies of children and they're they they've so got so much mind fuckery going on with these kids that they are sweating and barfing and flopping around on the floor and talking in demon voices. It sounds like a night of me drinking. <laughs> like, that sounds like a couple shots later. And suddenly I'm what is what is the uh shit, what's her name from Ghostbusters when she turns into like I am Zorn or whatever. The new one or the old one? The Sigourney old one. Weaver. Sigourney, Sigourney Weaver. Weaver. And she's like, oh, I'm M. Zorn or whatever his name was. That's kind of how I get when I drink. I'm assuming I, it's very similar. I can't believe you brought up a Ghostbusters reference. That's awesome. <laughs> That's borderline nerdy. <laughs> well. Y'all, she might be getting her nerd training wheels soon. <laughs> she's already had her initial inoculation. <laughs> Very true. Oh, I did watch most shit. of Firefly. So most of it? There's only like seven episodes. Dude, there's thirteen. <laughs> For the, the biggest fan. Finished. There's like two episodes, motherfucker. That's because there's not enough episodes. I know, there's not enough. There should be like thirty five more. Did you watch did you skip I some watch, episodes I and go to Serenity? It. No, I was watching it with someone and then we stopped seeing each other, so I just stopped watching <laughs> it. I have it on DVD with special features and i also have serenity you can borrow them both and watch them yeah because serenity caps it off you gotta watch the serenity or else you don't get any of the references to i am a leaf on the wind (laughs) watch me (laughs) (laughs) that was great (laughs) that was great i do that to my kid now because wash was his favorite character and he knew about 15 minutes before because like we weren't answering his questions when he was watching serenity for the first time and he's like does he die? He's <laughs> like, I ain't telling you anything. He goes, he dies. And he, I, I could see him struggling from saying, God damn it. He was like, man, 
Man! <laughs> Aren't you going to dress him up as Wash for, uh, for Halloween? Ghost <laughs> in his chest. <laughs> he thinks he's going as a, uh, um, a shelter dweller, but he is not. He's going as Wash. <laughs> End of Serenity Wash. My my daughter for Halloween, and, and I still let her go, even though she's older. But um, she wants to be one of these. I oh, love those. Cool. Yeah. Well, she's yeah. tall enough she could get yeah, one. Yeah, she can. Yeah. I think we're just gonna take one that's like not being used. <laughs> just tape it to her. Borrow it. Yeah, tape it to her. Let her go around, borrow it for the night, and bring you candy. That's kind of how it works. All right, everyone. Uh, this was the Camel Toe episode. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Alexia. I'm Toxie. And I'm Sierra. And we'll be back next week. If you're brave enough. Later, bitches. You're clear. <laughs> <laughs>